Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex over at Laser Everything, and today we're going to be talking a lot about improvising on the job. We have this really pretty silver-plated nickel picture frame, and uh, it posed quite the challenge. So we're going to get into everything we had to do to get this gorgeous mark on it, and I'm going to walk you guys through it step by step. So don't go anywhere, because we're going to start right now. Okay guys, so we're just going to get started on this frame right now. Um, I am using a just a couple cardboard chips in the corner to level it off with the stand in the back to make sure that we don't have a problem uh, with the stand and we'll just set that down. And uh, we do need to get our focus real quick, so we'll just grab our focus stick and focus up. That was easy. Uh, with that done, we can hop over to EasyCAD and get started in software. Okay guys, first things first, we do have to come in here and just give ourselves kind of an outline box. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and draw that in and shift C to center. And uh, we're gonna light this up, but we're gonna have a small problem. And I'm gonna talk to you about that in one second. So here we are guys, but we've got a slight problem. We've got our red light outlining where our box should be so that we can line our frame up, but we can't see it. The mirrored surfaces are really bad about this and it can be super difficult to see. I'm sure that you've all before leaned over a piece of metal and blew some hot air on it just to get a little bit of fog so that you could see where the laser is falling, but there's a better way. And that's where our friend baby powder is going to come in. Uh, we can't just dump this all over the picture frame, but what we can do is open it up and take a washcloth uh, or something similar and just tap a little bit into the washcloth and then what we're going to do kind of fold it over to get all the loose stuff and we're just going to turn it over and gently apply it to our frame just like this and just like magic we're going to all of a sudden be able to see our outline box i don't know how well you can see this on the camera but in real life it's much much more visible now uh, it's very easy to see. So that little tip should be a real big help for you uh, if you're struggling with this. And of course, I actually just got off the phone with the customer and they wanted it vertical, not horizontal. So we just went ahead and applied some more baby powder uh, just to the vertical bottom edge. Uh, so we can go ahead and get this centered. And that looks really good to me. And uh, we can move on with the rest of our artwork. Okay, next thing guys, we've got our artwork in. We're just going to center that up, shift C, and then uh, we'll go ahead and get that to a good size. Uh, that looks good right there, and we can hatch it. Uh, so standard line distance will be fine for today. Hatch 1 and hatch 2, 45 and negative 45, just like always, and we'll hit OK. Uh, now, we don't want to hit this too hard. If we engrave too hard too fast will scatter metal dust all over this frame which is going to scratch that mirror finish so we're going to go ahead and get started with just like a brass general setting which is going to give us a nice coat uh, right on that metal where we can lay our steel white finish on top of and here it is here so we're working with 1500 50 and 25 and that should be fine so uh, we can go ahead and get rid of our outline and uh, we'll pop over to the laser and get this done. As you guys know, this job is all about improvising. And you can see that there's some kind of like enamel or clear polymer coating on this. Um, so it is going to take a little bit more of a push to uh, chew through that and get down to the metal. This job is all about improvising, so we got to be ready to uh, make changes on the fly. So we're going to hop back over to EasyCAD, switch to our standard anodized aluminum setting, and give that a run real quick to see if that can't punch through this plastic. Okay, so that was a fail. Um, we can't seem to get through the uh, plastic coating on top of that silver, so we're going to have to up our power a little bit. So we're going to come into our parameter library, and we're just going to grab the aluminum general setting. Uh, this boosts our power up to 80 here, and that should be sufficient to uh, punch right through whatever is blocking us from engraving the silver. I don't want to go this hard, but we have to, otherwise we can't finish the engraving. So uh, we'll go ahead and we'll run this right now, and then we'll circle back around for the steel white finish. All 
right, and of course we needed so much power here that we punched right through the silver plating and into the nickel base. Uh, but like I said, this is all about improvisation. So we're going to go ahead and grab our steel white finish now and see if we can clean this up and make it look nice. Finally, we have something to work with. Again, that was a little harder than I wanted it to be, but we have our steel white finish here and this is going to do a really good job of cleaning that up. So uh, with our steel white finish, we're ready to go. One last time, over back to the fiber laser, let's wrap this up. Okay guys, so now all we need to do is deal with this leftover baby powder and uh, we're just going to grab a little bit of ammonia cleaner, Windex, whatever, and uh, we're going to just give this a very gentle wipe down to uh, get rid of that excess baby powder. We got most of it there, but we still have a little cleanup to do, so I'm just going to grab our, uh, our, our good old microfiber cloth and uh, we'll wrap this up. This should get everything that our washcloth missed. And there we go, guys. Not a scratch to be seen. Uh, and that's a really bright, super clear engraving. It looks beautiful, and uh, I'm really happy with that. So we'll go ahead and get this packed up because we have to ship this out to the customer. All right, guys, we're here at the end of another episode. Thank you so much for joining me on this one. I appreciate you coming by and hanging out for a little bit. If you got value out of this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Let everybody else know that the content is good. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified the next time we post a video. If you love the channel and you wanna see more episodes like this, consider signing up to become a patron. Our patrons are amazing and they're the only reason the channel exists in the way that it does today. You get a ton of great perks, including instant access to my CO2 and fiber laser library on top of a ton of other stuff. Uh, it's just really a great, great way to support the show. There's a link in the description right next to the link to the Discord, which is our amazing community where members from all around the world get together to share settings and photos of their work and so much more. So I highly recommend you check those things out. That's enough for today, guys. I gotta get going. I have a lot to do, but I will see you in the next one.